great food, definitely check it out. So yesterday, we were in Schenectady. And, and then for the barbecue, which filled us up for uh, 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, it started pouring. So we just kept on driving and we were following the Erie Canal, stopped up at a few locks. We went to the Mohawk Valley Visitor Center. Just some like interactive things that you could climb on and check out. We're doing work on the locks. So the water has been fully drained by that specific lock. And it's pretty cool because you get to see all the inner working. The weather cleared up at that point, really nice and sunny. Hot. Been hot the entire trip. <laughs> yeah, today it's like 87 degrees. See, so after that, so we followed the five because you're not going to see anything on the throughway except for the Mohawk Valley Visit or something. But otherwise, we either took the five or 5S, and that takes you along the Erie Canal. Like in general, it tries to keep off the highways, see more on the state routes and the side roads. That's a lesson. So after the Mohawk Visitor Center, we got to Little Falls, New York, which I realized once we got there that I had been there a year before. It wasn't a planned stop as we came through. Dave was like, oh, I remember this place. I'm usually very diligent about pinning things on my map. For some reason, I forgot to pin Little Falls. I don't know why, because I had a great time there last year. It's beautiful. I think along our experience with the Erie Canal, like Lock 2E was probably the nicest, touristy, if you want us to call it that but Lock 17, which is in Little Falls, is probably one of the more historically significant ones. And there's the most to see. It's like a big compound. There's like a park. Um, you can walk around. It, it's kind of scenic if you think that, you know, canals and locks are scenic. One of the reasons why I think it's so scenic, the combination of industrial and then it's surrounded by nature. I think that clash, that combination is particularly nice. What's up, man? You wanna watch me fall? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Hoo -ah. So after passing through Little Falls, we decided to go check out a campground camp that was nearby. We found a random campsite that was a, a diamond mine slash campsite. Yeah. Ace of Diamonds Mine and Campground. So we called them up, they said they had availability. And they were like, yeah, you know, just roll up. There's little signs on the table if the campsite is reserved. Take a spot and settle with us in the morning. We're like, okay, sure. Sounds nice and easy. So we did that. We came there around sunset. Sure enough, by all appearances, what seems to be a active mining site where you can pitch your tent. It was basically just like a hole in the ground with rocks. You can pay to do some diamond mining there. People actually find little diamonds there, but it's, it's not a campground per se. Something I had never seen before. For. It wasn't for us. Listen, we can rough it and all that, but it's not our idea of camping. Not my idea. Aaron was down for it. So we decided to go back to Little Falls and check out the inn at Stone Mill. The inn at Stone Mill, right. After this whole story of going up to the diamond mines, we're like, you know what? We convinced ourselves, you know, if we get the hotel, we'll get breakfast. Anyway, so we went, we went back to the hotel. It's like this really folksy small town over there. We, we roll up to the hotel and there's no one in reception and there's a number to call. We call them and then it's like her cell phone. She's like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll send someone over. The person they can send over is the guy who owns the hotel. So we were chatting with him a little bit of the history of how he built that up. Evidently, it was a mill or something on the river turned a few of the floors in it into this hotel. It's like a really small town. Everybody seems to know everybody there. Really beautiful. <coughs> One of these old industrial towns that's kind of now been revived a little bit. They've done a really good job at making it look nice and pretty and making it more of a destination than most of the towns in that area. That's pretty cool. We went to a restaurant that night, met some locals, had a, <laughs> an engaging conversation. So the next morning I got up early, I walked around. While some, I was fast asleep. <laughs> did some drone footage um, at sunrise. Cute drone footage.
then we hit the road. At that point, we kept on going along five. We hit Utica. Yeah, and Utica was the next big stop. I had been to Utica last year. It has a bad reputation. And people we were talking to called it Shudika, for whatever reason. It used to be a very important industrial town. There was a lot of train cars that went through there. The canal obviously went through there as well. But throughout the Industrial Revolution, Utica was a big point on the map. Just because of its location and the amount of people that lived there and different forms of production that happened there. We stopped off at the train station, which is now an Amtrak train station, as well as the DMV. Um, barbershop, Greyhound, some tourism and office was there as well. They're very much making use of all that real estate. Beautiful old building. It's really nice. Very beautiful construction, very historic. from New York, which we are at current. And we checked out for Stanwix. It's pretty neat. We weren't able to go inside, but it's closed. But it's a nice quick stop, you know. It's, it's not nothing fancy, nothing amazing, but it's, it's a little bit of history of the, the area. It's an old port from the Revolutionary Era. It's been reconstructed. It's a good 20 minute stop. And if it's open, you could probably spend an hour or two there. And then we came here to Nicky Doodles for lunch and ice cream and we are gonna start heading more west to Verona Lake. This time, we didn't make the mistake. We booked last night at the state campground. That's our goal for the end of today. So we're gonna head right out to Verona Beach State Park, set up our tents, and we do some uh, kayaking, see uh, what the rest of the day has in store for us. I think that's it. Yeah.